Have you been let down on past holidays like Valentine's Day? Maybe your husband didn't do anything or say anything or got a last minute rose or candy on their way home from the gas station, leaving you feeling a little bit like an afterthought uncared about. Does this history mean that you're stuck with a dud of a husband or should you accept that he'll just never change? Not necessarily. We can all change, both you as well as your husband. And I know how to make it more likely. With Valentine's Day coming up, I want to talk about something that can be particularly challenging during the holidays like this related to feeling cared about and what holidays mean. It's really about learning how to manage our expectations and our responses to our loved one's behaviors, especially when they let us down. Specifically, I'm going to focus on wives or girlfriends who might be feeling frustrated with their husbands or boyfriends during holidays like this, but it can really apply to anyone during any sort of holiday. If you'd like to keep your husband or your boyfriend, but you have some resentment for holidays past and you don't know what to do with it, let me give you some advice so that bitterness doesn't make it worse. The holidays are often filled with high expectations and traditions. Sometimes we do nothing and we never have. Sometimes we go over the top and we always have. We have visions of picture perfect moments. When things don't go exactly according to plan, it can lead to disappointment, resentment, and frustration. And this can be especially true for wives who might be feeling unappreciated or unsupported by their husbands already. Perhaps your husband didn't get the perfect gift or any gift at all. And maybe they didn't help out enough for preparing for this holiday. Maybe you had plans to get together and you were hoping that they would put something together, but they didn't. Or maybe they forgot about something important that you had already planned. It's easy to get caught up in the negativity and focus on what they didn't do rather than acknowledging the positive things that they might have done. And it's totally understandable. But here's the thing, focusing solely on negativity only creates a cycle of negativity. Instead, we can use shaping techniques to encourage husbands or any other partner to exhibit our behaviors that we want to see you're much more likely to get what you want if you do what's effective, right? Not just necessarily what I feel like doing, which is maybe reacting to my anger or disappointment. Step one is really to focus on the positive, especially leading up to holidays. Instead of dwelling on maybe what your husband didn't do, take the time, especially on a daily basis, to acknowledge and appreciate the positive things that he does already. Did he clean up after di dinner without being asked? Did he offer to help with something that he doesn't normally do? Did you love the way that he was playing with the kids? Did he pick up maybe your favorite candy bar? Even small gestures deserve recognition. Step two is be specific with your request. So holidays coming up, don't expect your husband to read your mind. Be clear and specific about what you need and what you want especially letting them know that you don't want it to be like past holidays. And it would mean a lot to you if they treated this holiday differently. So instead of saying, you never help with anything planning for Valentine's, try saying something like, I'd really appreciate it if you could plan this Valentine's, right? That would mean a lot to me if we did something special and you were the one to plan it. Step three, use positive reinforcement. So when your husband does something that you want to see more of, reward him. This could be a verbal compliment, an extra hug, a small gift. Positive reinforcement strengthens the desired behavior that you want to see and encourages him to repeat it. That, that may sound like training a dog, but we're all shaped by positivity way more than we are by negativity. So just keep that in mind if you want more affection or kindness or collaboration or help, you have to respond mainly to what they're doing right rather than what they're doing wrong. Step four is you're gonna to want to avoid negativity. So criticism, nagging, totally understandable, but it backfires. So instead of focusing on what your husband's doing wrong, use more I statements, gentle startups to just express your feelings and needs. For example, I, I felt hurt last year when you brought the, the candy and I had wanted to go out instead of something like, you never remember me on holidays. So something very specific, focusing on your own feelings, teaching what you actually want and giving a remedy, giving a way for them to show up this time in a very specific way. 
step five is be patient and consistent. No, nobody changes overnight, so it takes time. Don't expect your husband to become Mr. Perfect ever, but especially not overnight. Be patient and consistent with your approach and celebrate even small improvements. It's important to remember that even small imperfect behaviors are still steps in the right direction if they're more of the kind of behavior that you're wanting rather than the behavior you're not wanting. By acknowledging and reinforcing these small wins, you can create more of a positive and supportive environment, a culture of appreciation, as we say in the Gottman uh, couples therapy realm. And you can create a more of an affectionate, supportive relationship that's humble, that allows mistakes, that doesn't berate someone for not being perfect and not showing up in the exact way that you want. So remember, communication is key. Talk to your husband about your expectations, but not in a demanding dictator sort of expectation way, but in, hey, this is important to me, maybe not to everybody, make it specific to you. This is how I could feel loved. This would make me feel really loved if you would do this and talk about how his behavior affects you. This would really make me smile. This would really make me feel loved. Focus on the positive rather than the negative of if you don't do this, like you don't want it to be threatening, you want it to be encouraging and again, positive. Be understanding and empathetic. Take time to understand your husband's perspective too. Ask him why maybe he's acting this way. What, what does this holiday mean to him? What's important to him? Is there a way that you could respond to him that would make him feel loved? So that even if you both feel differently about holidays, that you're both honoring each other's wishes in some ways, that it's not his way, it's not your way completely, that you're both understanding each other, what's important to each of you, and that you're understanding maybe why he might be acting in the way that he has in the past. And then again, finally say it, I could say it a thousand times, focus on the positive. Celebrate the good moments and appreciate your husband for who he is and not for not berating him for who he isn't. So the challenge this Valentine's, if you struggle with resentment or some past hurts, is to really try these shaping techniques and see how they can improve your relationship with your husband. Remember, creating a happy and harmonious home, holidays and then just regular days, is really a team effort. If you work together and have conversations about what it means to you, what you'd like, you can ensure that you both have fun, joy, memorable holidays like Valentine's Day that that will maybe hopefully be new traditions for the future going forward. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more relationship advice. And obviously if you need some more help, if this is too hard to do on your own, please see one of our licensed professional counselors at Couples Counseling ATL, counselingatl.com. You can schedule your first couples therapy session, but you could also get a free 20 minute video session with the therapist of your choice to try them out. And leave a comment. If there's anything else you'd like to learn about, let us know. You're not alone if you have disappointments and frustrations and hurts. And I promise you there are better ways to deal with those that will encourage better behaviors. Sometimes we just all need a little help. So good luck to you and continue to see the positive in your partner and reinforce the, even the baby steps that you're seeing and you will encourage and make it more likely that they'll act in the ways that make you feel loved and vice versa.